In high school, I took a couple courses just to get the feel of it, just to be like, I can change my own oil and stuff like that. And then um, my brother-in-law owns a uh, lawn care business, so I worked on his trucks. I grew up around everybody working on them, and it just kind of like drove me to be more independent and so I could work on my cars. And then I got my first car. It didn't run at all. The battery is messed up. There's so many problems wrong with it. And I let my boyfriend handle it for a couple months to see if he could get it working. And it took like months and months. And I was like, you know what? I'll just do this by myself. I can get it. So I took it and within a couple months, I got it working. I did it all by myself. I heard a lot of good things about Julia Junior College from my cousins have been here. I always heard good things about the automotive program too. And I came here for my visit to see Mr. Coleman and he took me through like the whole entire program and I was just amazed with the facility here. JJC's automotive program, the teachers are very helpful. Coming in here as a girl, I was always nervous about being able to do as much heavy lifting and everything as the guys. But the teachers, if you can't do it, they're there right by your side, no matter if you're a woman or a man. The professors here are like, I don't know, I'd like to say kind of like my dad because they're, they're by your side all the time. If you get frustrated at something or just like want to give up, they're there, right there, and they keep motivating you to do better because they know you can. I've even had troubles outside of school where they could tell it affected me, and they were always concerned about me. And just like that, as well as the other students, they're just always there for you. The fun thing about JJC Automotive is that everybody here is so friendly. I, I think the funnest part about it is getting to know everybody and like what they drive and how they like to do it. Some people like going in the fast cars, some people like just cruising in the old classic cars. I don't know, it's just really fun getting to know everybody here. In the front of the classroom too, it's like me, Jeanette, and Ayali all the time, just the girls. Sometimes we'll be answering the questions before the boys and they'll just be like, hmm. And we're all pretty close, we all talk a lot. I don't really know how to drive stick and not like a lot of the other boys do here. My partner, last semester I think it was, he was trying to drive the car and he, he stalled it out like four times. And I backed it out and I drove it out and I stalled it only one time. And he was so embarrassed, it, was, it, was, <laughs> it made me feel good. <laughs> JJC will help me out in the long run because all the support from the teachers again was great, but they supplied me with all the tools, all the knowledge everything to help me better myself in order to become the person I want to be. I think the overall lesson I've learned here is take your time doing things because if you don't, you may mess up and like on a customer's car, for example, if you don't double check the brakes or do them the right way, it can affect that person really bad. So no matter what you do, just take your time doing it so you get it done the right way. My future goals, I plan on continuing my education. I'm going to get my bachelor's in uh, automotive technology at SIU along with an associate's in uh, business management. And I hopefully will get an internship somewhere in California with Toyota or something like that. And then maybe run my own business or just run a manufacturer's business. When I first started here, I started out in psychology and music and all of that. And I didn't even know that we had a welding department. I didn't, I didn't know all the opportunities that were out there. I always like to put things together and take things apart. So I thought welding would be a neat thing to try because it was kind of the most dramatic aspect of the technical field that I could think of at first. And I loved it. And I sort of liked the technical aspects of art, like, you know, sculptures and all of that stuff. Welding is kind of like sculpting and putting things together, and so the, the transition seemed pretty clear to me. Welding is sort of an art where it's, you know, it's a skill that you have to learn. It's, it's something you need to practice, and you can learn the techniques, but you really have to hone them like an art. I enjoy welding because it is creative, it is artistic. And I'm also kind of a puzzles person, and it, you know, it, sometimes it feels like a puzzle that you have to, you have to solve and you have to work through. I chose JJC in the first place because I wasn't sure what to do, and I think that was a very beneficial decision in the long run since I bounced around with majors, and it's also a great school because it has so many different majors. Working with the state-of-the-art technology has been wonderful. It's a lot easier to weld with these new and wonderful machines and we've got virtual welding machines now which students who have never welded before can practice on that. I was, I was kind of nervous coming into this department as a woman because you know I, I came to my first welding class I was the only girl there but everybody made me feel completely comfortable so it's, it's a very good opportunity for women there's no sexism whatsoever. What also surprised me was the atmosphere was a lot more laid back than I thought it would be. I expected it to be very serious and very intense, and it's not. It, it can be at times, but all the teachers are pretty forgiving. <laughs> For like myself, I had never done anything technical in my life before, and they were all very, very patient, 
and very willing to work with me. My future goals are to find a job and I would like to hopefully find a career in welding where I can use both the, the technical aspects of welding as well as the artistic. I think JJC will help me because it's allowed me to meet a vast number of people from all different backgrounds, all different personalities, and I've learned to become a lot more adaptable. The technical department offers a lot of different opportunities. You get a lot of hands-on experience doing things that you'll be doing on the job. My dad actually has been a machinist for about 45 years now, so I'm sort of following his footsteps. I started when I was five years old. I was actually going to go for uh, museum curation, but then I decided I was just more passionate about this. It actually had me going on machining when I was really little, like five or six. A little bit weird, but I mean, it, it was all right. When I went into high school, I met that guy, our instructor, Dave Smowski. He opened up a big ball of mess, I guess you could say, that just, honestly, you can, that's why I was saying, manufacturing and everything. In high school, we took a car, and we built it from the ground up. We actually built the machine to build the car from the ground up. So when I was learning all that stuff in high school, I actually took that back to my dad. We actually started making movie props for like Lord of the Rings. We made, I know it's gonna sound totally nerdish, the bad guy in Lord of the Rings with a huge white beard, fantastic beard by the way. He has a sweet staff and the top of the staff my dad actually made for the movie. Ever since I started learning about that stuff, it's just been all out machining for me. It's just, it's a lot of fun. We have the best teachers here. You're not pressured to be doing anything, obviously they want you to do good, but I mean, you're not pressured for time requirements or you just work at your own pace. You learn at your own pace. You come in here, every single person is, is here to learn. They want to be here. And it's just an absolute great, just relationship building process. I've met so many people. Uh, I've learned so many, uh, I don't know you want to call it, different connections to different businesses, outside businesses. You'll get students that are 40 years old and you get students that are fresh out of high school. Uh, you get actually everybody. But the thing is you're all here for one purpose and that's to uh, better yourself in the machining program. You're here to get the degree, hopefully move on to a better job. When you're here, it's honestly, it doesn't even feel like school. Any questions that you have with the people, we're always here, absolutely all the time. We live here pretty much, that's, that, that's what we do. After I graduate from JJC, knowing that this, that I got a great education from here, using updated equipment and everything like that, I'll be completely solidified with my knowledge to go out in the field and I'll be totally confident and have no worries about it. I'm looking at going to Purdue University, gonna try to transfer credits. I really would like to get into custom fabrication. That is like my all-time dream. You work for any different type of custom car shops, bike shops, anything like that to where you're not making the same part every day. You're constantly using different machines, you'll be welding, you'll be working with metal just like lathes, mills and all that stuff. That's my dream job. The job opportunities are just, they're endless.